been associated with this profession since 1972. The objectives of the Institute are set out in the Act. One is to build professionalism, to develop and create manpower in company secretarial profession, both to work in the public sector and the private sector. The other most very important aspect or function of, the, of our institute is to ensure that this institute has global recognition to start at par with the best among the best institutions. As we are speaking today, this institu institution is known all over the world. I am proud to let you know that I am not only a founder member of this institute, I am the first member, member number one of the Institute, and I'm very loyal and faithful to the Institute. The evolution has been slow, initially it was slow, but uh, sure and solid, and we are growing from strength to strength. As I have said, if you look at the landmarks, 1978, Working Party, 1987, or rather 1988, passing of the Act, 1989, commencement of the Act, 1991, the holding of the first annual general meeting of the Institute, and the election of the Council of the Institute, the first Council. Again, I'm happy to say that I am among those who are elected in 1991, and I have been the longest serving member of the council. There's a profession that determines the workings of the government and the institution. And remember, under our constitution today, we have a whole chapter, I think it's chapter six, and leadership and integrity. Our biggest challenge today is to ensure that our institutions, our country, goes beyond the requirements of Chapter 6 of the Constitution and actually goes beyond the Act of Parliament that prescribes the requirements of leadership and integrity. A professional must be ahead of time. What I would like to tell our viewers is that this is the profession of the future and you are working with other professions to serve the people of the Kenya and international uh, community. Thank you very much. My name is FCS Joe Mwangi Bubia. I was the chairman of the institute from 2011 to 2012. The evolution of this profession, if you allow me, I'll go back to 1891 when the profession was started in the United Kingdom by 18 secretaries. The profession was given the Royal Charter in the UK in 1902 by the Queen. As we speak today, we have seen now the uh, profession being recognized and the most, being most appropriate for advisory services on corporate governance. The key role of the certified secretary in corporate governance or governance because the secretary is to be found in profit making organizations, non-profit, public sector, is a specific advisory role to the board. There were quite a number of key achievements. I was able to anchor the institute at global level under the Abrera Organization for Corporate Secretaries, that is the Corporate Secretaries International Association, 
The second one, which I believe was very critical, was to develop the corporate secretaries to look it under the Global Corporate Governance Forum of the World Bank. My parting shot uh, that we encourage the younger population, first of all, as they choose their career, to start early so that when they are taking their primary education, primary in the sense before they join the profession, particularly at university level, college level, they are focusing on those aspects that will eventually dovetail into the CS profession. My name is Gilbert Lurutien, uh, member number 045. During, uh, during my chairmanship, uh, we invited the permanent, the, the chief of the, the civil servants, who was at that time Simeon Nyachai. And I personally made an appeal to him uh, that uh, this institution uh, should be revived and then we move on it. And uh, he agreed with me and uh, the, the papers were revived again and this time uh, we agreed that uh, we should embrace in the institution the lawyers, advocates of the High Court of Kenya, as well as uh, the accountants who were qualified at a particular date, which was November 1989. I'm a certified secretary. Uh, I think the future is bright because uh, I know that our industries are growing. They need, uh, need uh, uh, you know, professional advice on governance and also without governance, the institutions are not going to grow. This profession is worth it and uh, is a bright future for those who chose it. My name is Jackson Ming. I served as uh, a chairman of the institute uh, between May 2008 and May 2010. Um, during my tenure as uh, a chairman of the institute, I uh, started developing what we call the Champions of Governance Award Scheme. The challenges that are facing the profession currently in the country is one of uh, where members don't see good value in uh, being members of the Institute. Um, what I would say is uh, for a young person who is aspiring to become a good governance expert, the place to be is at the Institute of Certified Secretaries. My parting shot is that uh, the Institute is on the right path. I think we need to continue this path, but like I've emphasized, we need good leadership. Leadership that is able to inspire followers to follow and follow willingly doing the right things of governance. So my name is uh, FCS Catherine Musakali. Initially, when you heard the term uh, company secretary, um, you thought about um, <clears throat> people taking minutes at board meetings and doing all uh, manner of administrative uh, matters for, for boards. Uh, but gradually uh, that has changed now and uh, we find that the CSs now are more involved in governance. During my tenure, happily, we rolled out the Code of Corporate Governance for listed uh, companies. Although um, it became law after I left, but by the time I had left, we had put it together and it had been accepted as the uh, code that was going to be applicable. The drafting of the governance framework for county governments, for county, uh, the county public service board in particular, uh, that again was done uh, during my time. Governance is what brings you or makes you true to yourself. The profession is bound to grow going forward. And I would encourage every young person who is studying out there, who's asking themselves what their next step should be, to actually consider governance as a profession of first instance. I am FCS Dr. Nicholas Letting. Um, 
the 11th chair of the Institute of Certified Public Sectors of Kenya. I became chair in the year, chairman of the council in the year 24, May 2014 and to, until uh, May 2016. Uh, governance is the way organizations are led and directed. I was privy to a lot of things and I was privileged to be elected by members unanimously in the year 2014. When I took over in 2014, I appointed a task force chaired by Catherine Msakali, the immediate past chairman of my time, made up of eminent persons and including the previous past chairman of the, of the institute to bring together the State Corporations Advisory Committee, SCAG, and ourselves to, to come with the, now the so-called Mongozo. That being a government document now, I want to say that I'm very happy that I appointed task force that worked on it and it, it was ascended to, the, to by the president in 2015 when I was uh, chairman of the institute. Working in my council and the, and the management, and uh, of course the past chairman, I, we came, with, came up with uh, what, what we are currently calling it, governance auditors accreditation course, which we benchmarked with the Indian uh, secretarial audit. So my belief is this, that we need to promote it, we need also to promote students to do research in governance and particularly in the area of corporate governance and also audit. Yes, so my, my, my take on this is that um, there's a lot of room for, for expansion uh, in terms of promoting the young people, their professions and be able to take them to the next level. My name is uh, FCS, Pius Duetti. Um, I am the CEO of CASNEB. CASNEB is the first step uh, to persons desiring to become members of the institute. Um, you register as a student of CASNEB. You go through a qualification process uh, by examination. And uh, once you are successful uh, in the examination, then you are eligible to join the institute. So we are a key partner in the certified secretary's profession. We really take pride in, 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 in the journey that we have uh, undergone. The profession has a lot of potential. I have been involved in uh, the development of what we call the CS profession strategic plan, which, which has been coordinated by the registration board. I think we are now on the third CS uh, profession strategic plan. Young people, good governance is the way to go. And you should not just take good governance by the lip. It is important that you join, you aim to join the Institute of Certified Secretaries. The future is yours. This country belongs to you. You are the leaders of today, not tomorrow. My name is Joshua Wambua, and um, I'm a member of the Institute of Certified Public Secretaries of Kenya, having been enrolled as a member in 1998. Uh, we can say that uh, the Institute has played a major role in raising the standards of corporate governance, both in the private sector and in the, in the public sector. The Institute was able to secure its own premises, where we are, which is the CPS Governance Center. Uh, we were able to mobilize resources from the members and also from well-wishers uh, and the corporate bodies which do understand the purpose of this institute and uh, together uh, putting that money into one basket uh, we sourced for the premises and we, we, we purchased a premises of the institute at the upper hill. During uh, my tenure, particularly in the year 2002, as a member, as a senior member of this uh, profession together with uh, some council members, we did involve ourselves, or we were involved in the establishment of an international federation of company secretaries. The opportunities are numerous, let me say so. Um, to begin with, at the highest level, the county public service boards are supposed to be served by uh, a secretary who must be a member of the Institute of Certified Public Secretaries of Kenya and who must be in good standing. And so we have seen uh, uh, the whole country, all the 47 counties, uh, comply with that requirement. And therefore, uh, 
the county public service board in the respective counties is a board which does recruitment and deals with staff matters and also a part of governance issues. And so the member advises the board as far as those issues are concerned. And that's a major input. Now, there are other areas of input because the, the county has got a, a number of functions that uh, have been devolved under the constitution, uh, uh, Schedule 4, some of them uh, would require uh, high level uh, persons to lead and the being that this, this profession is a profession uh, where people learn about uh, the, a variety of issues on uh, the aspects of governance and the leadership you will find that they, they will come in handy and they will, some of them will become uh, county executive committee members who are, known as, who are known as the ministers and they can serve in a variety of them because uh, the profession is quite, uh, it, 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 it has got a wide coverage and therefore that gives them an opportunity to serve at high level as managers and to serve as leaders and to advise even on governance as far as uh, counties are concerned. Uh, we know that uh, IT is a major driver of transformation. And so that means that uh, there, are a lot, there are a lot of things which are going to shift from uh, being done manually to being done using the IT platform. But that notwithstanding, you still require the brains of someone who is trained in a given area so that they can be able to give a direction as far as the decision is concerned. And so, like, uh, uh, when you look at corruption, and let's not talk about Kenya alone, it's all over the, all over the world. There are, there are some corruption practices which take place in corporates. And um, some of them arise because uh, of uh, directors who are not ethical. This profession will still continue advising on aspects of being ethical and conducting yourself in the proper way. I think uh, to the young people, uh, and particularly those uh, young boys and girls who get to the university, I would like to tell them that uh, when you get to the university, as you are reading your main degree, register for CPS, there is a, a lot to contribute to the nation building as a profession. Let all the members stand firm. Let all the members give the correct advice, however painful it is to whoever you are advising. And I think uh, when, once we are done with that, uh, we'll have done our duty as, uh, as professionals. Uh, my name is uh, Louis Kamau, uh, fellow of the Institute of Certified Public Secretaries. Uh, I am the chairman of the board. Uh, as a CS, I, I was involved in the transformation of uh, our national airline. Uh, yes, the, the, the registration board is, is, is a part of the entities that have been created to uh, <clears throat> promote and uh, develop the CS profession. Uh, the role of the board, as I mentioned, is to uh, register members who are then admitted as members into the institute. Yes, as, as uh, one of those who uh, joined the profession um, in the 80s, early 80s, uh, uh, we have seen uh, the profession grow from a situation where it was uh, uh, there was no a regulation through uh, statute uh, in the early 80s. We move from a situation of fairly minimal regulation into one that is now uh, fairly strictly uh, regulated uh, in the late 80s. I think we, we, we need to thank uh, a number of people who are very instrumental in uh, ensuring that uh, the professional is being uh, uh, regulated. Uh, the people who put in a lot of effort uh, to lobby the government to, uh, to establish a regulatory framework. Uh, people like uh, Ike Gitao, people like uh, Rafael Moy, and uh, John Boothie and many others. I think we need to recognize the efforts they put in 
Yes, uh, when we look at uh, what the challenges uh, have been, uh, I think one must admit that uh, the, the general public's awareness of the role and contribution of the profession uh, has not been as substantial as perhaps we would like. Yes, if, if I was to, 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 to address uh, the young men and women who are looking for satisfying uh, careers, uh, I would absolutely ask them to look, to take a careful look at the CS profession as one in which they can realize their personal ambitions of, of career growth and personal and professional growth. Uh, I, I believe the CS profession is one area that they cannot afford not to look at. Thank you very much. My name is FCS, uh, Paul Muradin Thaura, the Chief Executive of the Capital Markets Authority. Now, as the Capital Markets Authority, we're charged with really setting down the, the government's framework and enforcement of the government's framework for the capital markets industry. I think as, as the Capital Markets Authority, we continue to see the, the Institute as one of our most credible partners in making sure that as we seek to position Kenya as an international financial centre, we're able to speak with confidence that the governance quality in our country and the professionals who stand behind um, that, that governance environment are of the highest quality. And we look forward to co continuing to work with them to make sure that we can truly position Kenya as an international financial centre. I'm FCS Beatrice Mesa, a member of the Institute of 19 Years Standing, a company secretary or rather a modern company secretary, has become very important and no board can do without. This is the person that walks ahead of the board and behind the board. This is the governance conscious of the board, a person taking care of the governance issues and advising the board on governance issues. And we have seen this role become very profound when we had scandals of Enron and the like. Before that, the role of a company secretary, as I have said, used to be taken very mildly. But it emerged that we require this important professional to keep the company out of trouble and also to take the company out of trouble. So this is, uh, in short, a conscious of the board, taking care of the governance issues of the board and making sure that the boards and organizations walk in a straight line. They are in charge of governance, they are in charge of, for example, ethics in an organization, risks in an organization. So these have been evolving and I wouldn't call them challenges, I would call them opportunities for the for the company secretary. And remember in uh, an organization set up, a company secretary is, has uh, uh, several roles. First of all, the company secretary is a key member of management, is a key member of the board, and this is the person who interacts with the shareholders and other stakeholders. So, the governance role upon this person is really, really key. And young people, I'll tell them to make this a profession of their choice. Thank you. My name is uh, C.S. Tom Mariba. I'm the current chairman of the Institute. I'm um, serving a term from 2016 to 2018. Yes, we've got some milestones. I may not take all the credit uh, for it. Some work had been started earlier, some uh, we've initiated. Um, some of the milestones that I can talk about is the recent launch of our strategic plan, 2018-2022. That strategic plan, um, in my opinion, is very good and should be able to guide the profession for the next five years. We anticipate lots of growth in membership because um, given the new opportunities like the governance audits and uh, just the attention that governance is taking in businesses and government, there's, there's going to be a lot of work and a lot of people who have been 
undecided about becoming members are now deciding to join. So I feel that that strategic plan will serve us very well. It will help us to move the, the profession and the secretariat from the, the old systems and manual ways of doing things to um, more digital ways that would make the, the running of the secretariat and the service to members um, more customer friendly easier to access, able to, to access from anywhere. And so I think that in the next few years, you will find a very modern uh, secretariat thanks to some of the changes we've done. The other item is the rebranding. It's been the desire of the Institute, the Council, the membership to rebrand. And indeed, um, there's been a desire to rebrand and a decision to rebrand since 2009. Um, I'm happy to note that that is finally being actualized so that um, we can now have a brand that is, um, speaks to the current uh, work that we do, that speaks to um, the kind of work that our counterparts do in other jurisdictions. And so I'm happy about the, 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 the progress we are making with the branding. Um, the other thing is about reorganizing the Secretariat. Um, for the last two years, we've been working on, you know, staffing the secretary properly, determining the needs, um, uh, and then projecting what the growth uh, should be and what kind of skills we require to cater for that membership. So I'm happy that that work was done and now it's being implemented. I'm happy with the progress that is being made. I can also talk about several partnerships that we've done. Uh, with uh, various entities. There's the ongoing partnership with the State Corporations Advisory Council where we are helping them with the governance audits for um, government entities. We've got some good partnership with the Capital Markets Authority where we are assisting them with the code first and then now with the implementation of that code for ECS or public securities. Um, we've got a good partnership going on with NEPAD. Uh, we've got an MO, MO, MOU where we'll be assisting the NEPAD to do um, peer reviews uh, from the counties. Um, we've got good engagement with the uh, Communications Authority where we expect to get some breakthrough in terms of uh, being exempted from some of the restricting uh, uh, legal obstacles. Um, and then we've had also good engagement with the Public Service uh, Commission where we're hoping to um, make some breakthrough in terms of how um, our members are treated, especially those in public service, with regards to schemes of service and, uh, and the other things that um, professions like ourselves are supposed to benefit from when we're working for, uh, say, public entities. The professionals move from purely company secretarial work for our members to more of governance um, uh, currently. We anticipate lots of growth in membership because um, Given the new opportunities like the governance audits and uh, just the attention that governance is taking in businesses and government, they, there's, there's going to be a lot of work and a lot of people who have been undecided about becoming members are now deciding to join. So I feel that that strategic plan will serve us very well. The future of the profession is bright. Uh, I always say that if you're a good professional, the opportunities are unlimited. For the young people, uh, this is the profession of the future. This is the profession that um, will give you the, the, the name that you want. This is the profession that will make you be remembered for the right reasons because we are about governance and governance affects every other aspect of your life. So, since the internet doesn't forget, welcome to the profession that will help you remain relevant going forward. Thank you. I'm Timothy Omongi, and I'm a fellow of the Institute. And as you can see, I was then member number 1,500. And I know the membership has more than doubled. And it was growing progressively then. But now I can assure you, the way I've observed, it is growing in leaps and bounds. We collaborated very closely. And that's how it came to pass that even it was passed in one of the legislations whereby the companies, the secretary to the 
County Public Service Board must be a certified secretary. A CS, like a lawyer, is a multidisciplinary manager. A CS can be a CEO, a CS can be a company secretary, a CS can be a teacher of governance, a CS can be a governance auditor. So they just the, the, the opportunities are limitless. In fact, now it appears like it remains or it is left to the individual to define themselves on what they want to be within the framework of the philosophy of the Institute. So really you could create and craft your own career as you want it. First, I'm very happy and grateful to the management of the Institute who have shown a lot of um, commitment, foresight, and ability to transform, to change, and to develop. Uh, before, we depended a lot on the voluntary members and the board, but now we have a cadre of very experienced and very well resourced, well, very well educated uh, individuals who are able to give direction to and stability to this institute. And therefore, under the leadership of the board, I am sure this institute will increasingly be able to demonstrate its importance. And I have chosen that as the concluding remark because every day I feel very encouraged when I know I belong to this organization and that I'm a fellow of the Institute of the Human uh, Institute of uh, Certified Secretaries because this is where I'm creating my career. One, as a governance auditor and two, as a general practitioner. Now that um, I have transited from government to consultancy. From my own opinion, the Institute is uh, growing at a very alarming rate and very, very soon, as uh, you are aware, the Institute has been involved in advising even the, gov even the government on some of the corporate uh, issues, the governance issues. So I think in, if, in future, the Institute will soon be among the institutions which the government will rely on in uh, cases of uh, governance issues in most institutions. I begin by appreciating my predecessors who have uh, done a tremendous job in the Institute. So far we've had uh, five CEOs. Uh, my immediate predecessor being uh, FCS, Burugu, uh, the, another immediate one who served the longest, FCS, uh, Wambua, who served for 13 years. There has been great, great success story for the Institute and I feel very, very honoured to come at this particular time to drive the, the strategy that has been there and to see the great face of the Institute as it grows to become the governance profession. Among the key things that I've seen over time that has been very exciting is how the CS has transformed from being a minute taker to being uh, the conscious of the board. And therefore we've seen a lot of participation uh, from uh, a CS who really advises the board. And the effectiveness of a board can only be as effective as it is CS. And this is what we preach every other time. Among the things that I've seen and I want to foresee really go is that recently we launched our new strategic plan for the year 2018-2022, a five-year plan with what we are calling a high five. Uh, and the high five basically talks about membership, talks about financial sustainability, talks about corporate image, talks about institutional strengthening and governance and policy. And why uh, we speak about this high five is trying to uh, help our staff 
easily remember where we are trying to focus in the next five years. Of course, our key one is membership, and we have used the index finger to speak about membership because it is the key. Being a member institution, we want to ensure that there are opportunities for our members, that members are empowered to stand as the governance professions, professionals, as it were. Financial sustainability, we are focusing on now doing a, a, a building for ourselves that will uh, help in, in creating uh, avenues for our members to be hosted within this particular compound. Uh, we have work plans ongoing and we want to ensure that in the next five years our building, uh, famous known as the Governance Center, will be up and running and it will be able to help in trainings, it will support students who want to train, there will be offices, there will be a commercial wing and that will be the way we want to go in terms of strengthening ourselves financially. There is a corporate image which is a key thing for us on how we represent policy, especially on governance and the kind of areas we want to focus on. The other one is institutional strengthening which means we want to ensure that the people who work for us uh, feel proud of working for the institute and that's where we are going. And the final one is on governance and policy and we want to begin doing a lot of research so we are able to inform policy, inform government on where and where the trends in terms of uh, uh, governance. Among the key successes of uh, recently of what you've done, I think is hosting Marvin King. Marvin King is a big name internationally. He's the benchmark for governance. And for us, hosting Marvin King was a big, big success for us. But all in all, um, I really look forward to a very prosperous institution. And for us, for a person like myself who is on contract, I want to see that in my years uh, at the institute, we move to the highest level and ensure that the younger people who uh, want to become governance experts choose us as the institute of choice. Thank you very much. Here we go.